Every country has their differences and similarity. I was born in conservative country, Saudi Arabia. It is the law in Saudi Arabia for women to wear an abaya when they go out in public. Unlike men, the abaya should cover their everyday clothing, which make it difficult for women to be active as they wish. For me, abaya made it difficult to run, or that was my excuse for myself. A 2015 study from Washington University showed that half of Saudi women don't perform any physical activity. I used to be obese, and I used to have a high cholesterol and diabetes. Diabetes is the silent killer, which killed part by part of my life. But I changed everything to be what I am right now. Good things keep happening to me. I moved to United States to continue my education. I began to run, and I found the joy in running. But nothing is easy. I have to overcome a lot of obstacles. Running not only changed me physically, it changed my state of mind. I am accepted into New York Film Academy, Los Angeles, to be a documentary filmmaker. When I start the program, I didn't know how intense it will be. My life changed, and nothing is the same. I don't have time out of my study, my research, my shoot, my editing. My study, my research, my shoot, my editing. Study, research, shoot, editing. I stopped cooking. I don't have time for that. I end up trying eating frozen fast food. I have never had it before. It is a good way to save time and money. Unfortunately, the food is disgusting. There is no enjoyment of meals. But at the end, I have to eat something. As a part of my study, I am required to watch other artists' films and analyze them, which kept me glued to the couch for most of the day. It killed my time to work out and take care of myself. One day, I'm invited to Saudi Film Days to be an ambassador. I figure out quickly, nothing fit me. I have nothing to wear. It's shocking. I felt ugly and fat. مسكينة يا لطيف جاها السكر ايش بتقولي مرة صغيرة ايش هاد الجسم يا لطيف هي ما تنتبه لنفسها بس تاكل 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 دبة انتي دبة It is scary I just don't want to be that person anymore تحين اذا جاني السكر يعني ممكن يقطعوا رجلي ممكن يقطعوا يدي ممكن اي شي يصير ايش ممكن اسوي لازم لازم أشوف حل. That's it. I really need to change. It is time to get back to running. I read that if I want to have a good quality vegetable and fruit, they should be organic. But most markets in Los Angeles are really expensive, and I don't know if I can afford them. I have twenty dollar. It's not gonna be enough to buy me anything. I have to wait until I get paid. One day when I was exercising on the stairs of my home, I saw my neighbor working in his garden. He's really such an inspiration. Mientras tenga yo una voz para cantar, al Señor elevo mi canción. Al amanecer, al anochecer, al Señor por siempre alabaré. Santo es el Señor, aleluya, hace maravillas en el mundo. Fabian, give a lot of attention and care for this plan. He's such an inspiration. 
Gracias a esta tierra, gracias a esta tierra que me vio nacer, crecer, vivir y me va a ver morir. Gracias a esta tierra que nos da de comer, de beber, de calzar, de vestir, pero que nosotros no la tomamos en cuenta. La civilización día a día va olvidándose de la creación de lo que es el universo. Tengo aproximadamente como unos cinco años en virtud de que este jardín o este huerto lo he puesto a nombre de mi hermana, compañera, amiga y esposa. Y se llama el, el, el huerto de las tinajas. Se llama el huerto de las tinajas porque está en un desierto y ahora se convierte en un huerto. I remember one of my professors from USC told me that she has a garden in her home and she sells vegetable and fruit every Saturday. I am Joanne Hoenze. I am actually a teacher at USC. I teach um, in the graduate program there. In my spare time, which is very limited, I do a lot of gardening here at home with my husband and we enjoy growing fruits and vegetables. Everything we have here is organic. I use all natural stuff. We have some rabbits. So any leftover fruits or vegetables from the garden, I can give that to my rabbits. They will eat it. I can use their manure. Sometimes when you go to the store, um, many of the foods will spoil immediately as soon as you purchase them, or they spray them with some kind of a wax or preservative to make them look pretty in the on the supermarket shelves um, here I can just pick it fresh from the garden and eat it or I can just go ahead and um, I can freeze it or I can can it there's many ways to start a garden of course it helps if you have a piece of land um, but if you don't have land then you can definitely grow anything in your um, in an apartment I never knew you can grow vegetable indoors. Okay, this is uh, the last of my hydroponic garden. It's all finished now for the summer, but basically um, it's all a water-based system. We punch holes in it. The plant sends its roots down. We have a sprinkler system and the roots go into the water. The water has nutrients, but it is soil free. And this will actually recycle the water so you save like 85% of the water. And so this grows very well. Um, lettuce, spinach, Swiss chard, you know, anything green, leafy vegetables grow very well in this garden. And you can just come out here and pick whatever you need, nice lettuce, and you can eat it for salad. Mm. I will grow my own food, nothing to worry about. I just need to buy everything in my list and follow Dr. H's advice, and everything will be just fine. I took Dr. H's advice to build this, the soil-free system because it's easy to build that system for an apartment. I'm going to try a different plant in different seasons. I lost the spinach and the lettuce because I didn't know it's too cold for them. But I still have the zucchini and the cucumber and also the radish. I'm gonna still water them until they grow. 
In the meantime, I found a way to be proactive and prepare healthy meals to go. I've given up sleeping in and now I work out instead because I learned if it doesn't challenge you, it's not going to change you. Giving back the community always makes us feel better about ourselves, especially if something you grow. I decide to give my neighbor a zucchini as a gift that I established in my system. And I continue to learn from those wiser than me. We need to give each other the space to grow, to be ourselves, to exercise our diversity. We need to give each other the space so that we may give and receive dignity, joy, healing, and love.